Welcome to the Cat Power Podcast, where we deliver powerful insights into the world of Cat Marine, showcasing the latest in technological advancements and highlighting the stories of the industry's most dynamic leaders. I'm your host, Sergio Tijera. Now let's get ready to power up with the Cat Power Podcast. Welcome to the Cat Power Podcast. My name is Sergio Tijera. We're coming to you live from Miami, Florida. Wherever you may be or wherever you may be listening from, you can catch each and every episode of the Cat Power Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or whatever platform you choose to listen to from. If you like what you hear, make sure you subscribe and share with a friend or colleague that needs to hear it. So my guest today is one of Caterpillar's top experts in the marine engine platform area, and he's a marine product strategy lead for the C32 platform. It's Mr. Alan Bowman. Welcome, Alan. Morning, Sergio. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, buddy. Hey, so this is a very exciting time for Cat Marine because of this new platform that you guys are getting into. We haven't been in this space in the past. So tell me a bit about why Caterpillar was thinking about we need to play in this space. Why is this 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 horsepower uh, engine, you know, platform area so important to you guys? Right. Yeah. So Caterpillar has been in the marine industry for quite a long time, and we've had a lot of success uh, with our engines in the marine industry, but. Uh, we realized in the specifically the high performance space, uh, we've kind of gotten behind our competition a little bit in the past uh, several years. Um, you know, and, and we've get, gotten a lot of uh, feedback from our customers. You know, they're looking for more power from our our platform and our engines. Uh, so we've uh, kind of tried to make make up a, a way to get back into the game here, get some more investment in those programs. Uh, and the C32B was born from that uh, decision. So, um, you know, a couple of exciting things that we're doing with the C32B that are coming out into the market uh, now and in the near future that uh, we're very excited to talk about. So this comes in two horsepower plat- ho- horsepower options, right? Tell me a bit Correct. about that thinking. Yeah, so there's uh, an announcement that recently came out that we're uh, putting a, a 2000 uh, brake horsepower or 2025 metric horsepower rating into the market. Um, and that's been very well received. Uh, got a lot of good positive feedback about that. Um, puts us at, at the uh, highest power rating uh, in the in the V12 class in the market today. So uh, kind of puts us back in the front uh, of the pack, so to speak. So uh, yeah, very much excited about that. Um, and then uh, coming in the near future, we're we'll working on an additional uh, you know, horsepower increase to get more power density out of the C32 uh, to take it even a step further and, and all the way up to 2400 brake horsepower. So wow, uh, yeah, very, very much uh, excited about being able to put those two options in the marketplace. That's that's amazing because it gives you a lot more horsepower, a lot more you know throttle force to get out of you know up up and at it when when you want to. How are you guys getting more power density out of the same you know liter displacement? How are you guys doing that? Right, yeah, as you mentioned, uh, we're not changing the displacement of the engine. So um, in order to get more power, basically the, the easy answer is you have to put more fuel in the cylinder, um, a little bit more airflow too. So um, we had to strengthen up the bottom end of the engine. So the crankshaft, the, the connecting rods, some of the internal components, uh, we've made those more robust to be able to handle additional fueling in the cylinder, which creates more cylinder pressure, more more stress on the engine. So uh, been able to improve the strength of that on the bottom end. Um, and that enables us to be able to get more power density out of the engine, be able to get those ratings that we're talking about. So as a customer, let's say I, I'm, I'm an owner of one of these mega yachts, right? You know, 80, 90, 100 yeah. foot. Hopefully someday I'll be, I'll be out there on, on the water with a cat engine in there. What am I going to sense differently if I'm not an engineer, right? I'm a, mm-hmm. I own a business, comp, you know, some kind of company, and I'm on my yacht trying out the new cat in my engine, you know, in my compartment. What am I going to sense differently in terms of the power, the sound, anything like that? Yeah, that's that's a good point too. So the uh, you mentioned the sound. You know, two two of the the big things that we've heard uh, feedback from our, our customer base on is you know we, you know Caterpillar, you need to get more power out of your engine, uh, and and your engines are a little bit noisier than some of your competitors. So we, we've addressed both of those. You know, we talked about the power increase here just a minute ago, and uh, with the in terms of the noise, uh, there's kind of two things we're doing in that space. Um, one is our, our unit injection fuel system that we use. We've made some enhancements to that as well to kind of give us a, the additional knob to turn of being able to do a, a split shot injection, which um, it's, it's a small pilot injection of fuel followed by a larger main injection of fuel. And that kind of allows you to uh, reduce you know, some of the mechanical noise, the combustion noise in the cylinder. You know? So we, we can leverage that at low speeds. So 
when the, our customers are idling or trolling for fish, you know, they'll, they'll have a little bit quieter ride than they have in the past with C32 engines. So um, that, that's a big deal for us. We want to make sure that that's you know, something we've, you know, we've listened loud and clear to those guys and tried to make sure that's uh, captured here. So that, you know, when they're out fishing and, and uh, having drinks on the deck, talking to their friends, they can, ha- they can hear conversations and be able to you know, enjoy those, those times together. Right, right. And so one of the things you mentioned was um, reliability. Now, some companies out there define themselves by certain attributes, right? Some companies want to be the biggest. Some companies want to be the fastest. Some companies want to be the most nimble. But I think when it comes to marine engines, I don't think there are any other attributes that are more important than quality and reliability when it comes to this because you are miles away from land right? Right. <laughs> and you don't want to get stuck out there. Caterpillar puts a lot of emphasis on quality and reliability. Tell me a little bit about like, the philosophy behind this because yeah. you can see it through all cat products, right? Oh, absolutely. That's, that's a great point. So uh, Caterpillar always has always taken a lot of pride in putting out reliable products and, and, and our, our testing and validation practices that we put our, our engines through really back that up. So, you know, if you look at, uh, the length of time it takes to deliver a, an engine program to the market, you know, all the, all the different engineers that, that touch the parts and, and put together test plans and, uh, you know, validation plans in our laboratories and, and putting these engines out in the field for early testing and getting that feedback and making design changes. Uh, you know, that's, it's a very rigorous process. We put the engines through and testing to make sure that you know, whatever we do in our lab, we want to make sure we, we push the engines harder and uh, you know, more aggressively than, than hopefully what our customers are going to do. And that way we make sure that uh, they're going to get a good, reliable product at the end of the day. And so when, when I am an owner of a boat, obviously maintenance becomes a huge cost to me, right? And I, I want to keep it down as much as possible. What have you guys done in terms of maintenance improvements uh, to, to, you know, to take this engine to the next level? Yeah, we're always looking at ways to try to, you know, reduce maintenance, you know, for our customers um, so that, you know, the fewer times they have to touch the engine, the better. Right. So we want to make sure their right. their uh, their experience is, you know, as least amount of interaction as, as possible for them. So we're, we're always looking at ways to improve that, um, you know, looking at ways to push oil change intervals, uh, you know, push filter change intervals. Um, you know, we, we, we have some things we're doing with high efficiency filters in that space, um, you know, the, the higher power engine rating I mentioned earlier, we're looking at, you know, we're going to offer a, a, a larger oil pan as an option. You know, if they want to go for a longer oil change interval extension they, and they've got the space for it, they can put a bigger oil pan in. you'll give them that leverage to not have to uh, go in and do as much maintenance. Um, you know, as well as we have, you know, very great, uh, very good relationships with our, our dealers and our, our customer base. So our, our dealers do a great job of, you know, oil sampling and then really keeping an eye on, you know, how the engines are running um, and giving that good feedback to the customers saying, you know, taking good care of them, letting them know if there is an issue that they need to address. And, um, and then there'll be a lot more automation of that coming in the future, I think, as, as, as we all work toward, you know, more digital strategies in that space and trying to leverage, um, you know, our capabilities in that realm as well. So if I'm a boat builder, I want to make sure that my customer is ecstatic. Because there aren't that many out there, right? It's, mm-hmm. Especially these these very very large, you know, yacht owners. The competition to keep these people happy is very high. How do I, if 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 I'm going to repower, or if I'm going to build somebody a new boat, I'm going to build somebody a new boat. What is the, what goes through the boat builder's mind when it comes to offering an engine? Because the customer says, okay, well, I don't know much about engines. What do you recommend? How are we talking to boat builders and saying, here's why you should put a CAT C32 in this mm-hmm. boat? Yeah, so we're doing a lot of work right now um, with, with those builders that you mentioned, trying to get them all of our technical specifications, you know, all the details about the engine, because we, we know it takes them you know, uh, months and in some cases years to design and build a vessel. Um, you know, th- these vessels uh, take, take a lot of time, especially on the custom ones. So you know, in order to kind of give them the, the, the leg up on, uh, you know, their customer base and get things uh, in, in place where they need them, they need that information from us, you know, now to be able to, to plan out their next one to two years worth of, of builds and, and things there. So, you know, g- getting that foundation laid now is, is really a key important thing for us, um, as well as kind of making sure they know, you know, what are the key features and benefits of this engine. Um, 
know, one, one of the big things, especially if you're talking about the sport fish industry is, is all the boat owners and all the uh, vessel owners want speed, right? So they want top end vessel speed. So you know, knowing they've got the power from our engine that's going to deliver that. And like you said earlier, in a, rel in a reliable manner, that's, that's a very important thing for them to, to have in their back pocket as they're talking with their customer base, uh, being able to know what Caterpillar is going to deliver for them um, and a quieter package uh, with, with that power density is, is really a, a very important focus for us. So they, they say a B stands for bragging rights, right? So that you can really push right. it when you want to. How, how fast can you, can you go on these? How many, up, up to how many knots? Yeah, I mean, it, it depends on the vessel design, obviously. But, um, you know, for some of these, you know, smaller sport fishing boats, I'll say probably in the 60 to 70 foot range, uh, depending on how they design the, you know, the, the repulsion system, you know, that we, we're hoping that they'll be able to get up around 50 knots. I mean, it's, wow. it's, it's definitely going to be a, a game changer here. That's pretty quick. That's pretty quick. Yeah. And so is the yachting industry through 2020, it's been a, it's been a, a very tough year for many people. Other, other companies and other individuals have flourished. How has the yachting industry, the fishing industry been this year in terms of demand? Has that been hit at all or is it still pretty strong? I'd say it's still pretty strong. Yeah, we, we've seen some uh, some builders had to slow down some operations. I think as as the the world of COVID kind of unfolded throughout the year, uh, but but as things have kind of stabilized uh, a bit in the industry, uh, we, we've really seen that demand uh, remain pretty strong for for these types of vessels. Um, and it, even forecasted in the next several years, it's going to remain strong. So it's it's something that um, several of our key important customers are uh, are looking to you know even expand their uh, their sales in the next several years so it's it seems to be a very healthy and strong industry uh, even, even moving forward right right and um and so another important thing another important component of of this whole uh you know purchase decision is is getting support from from the dealers and we know that caterpillar prides itself on having the most extensive most comprehensive dealer network in the world does this also apply on the marine side because we yeah, don't have construction side for sure but the fact that you can get parts anywhere within 24 hours is 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 a tremendous advantage, I would say. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, absolutely. It's uh, something that we're we're heavily counting on here as well that uh, you know our customers look for in terms of their you know their their total experience with, with Caterpillar and, and our engines as part of the uh, as part of that package. So you know the dealer support and the technician support that they provide to you know get to the boat. You know, fix the issues. Uh, you know, do the the regular servicing. Uh, so, that, you know, as you, you know, as everyone probably knows, these boats don't exactly stay in the same spot all the time. You know, they'll travel from one port to the next. You know, spend spend the summer in, uh, you know, North Carolina, go down to Florida for the winter. So, they're not always at the same location where they're going to have the same person servicing the boat every time. But Caterpillar's got dealer locations, you know, all around the world, uh, and they're always. Know, just a phone call away and getting somebody out there to your vessel that's that, that knows the engine that knows how to service it uh it's going to take great care of you so it, that's something that we certainly lean heavily on and, and and our customers expect so alan take me take me behind the scenes a bit within caterpillar let's let's pull the curtain back and as an outsider looking in you know they see caterpillar but what is it like to work there what is it like to be Amongst some of the top engineers and you know and the brightest minds in the world, coming up with some of these very cool, innovative products and technologies and so forth. What's a typical day for you like? Yeah, it's it's a very uh, very exciting time I think to be uh, a caterpillar. Um, you know, we, we've you know going back to some of the discussion about you know what we do for you know making sure these engines are reliable. You know, a lot of that uh, you know, design work and validation work I mentioned. You know, there's 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 many many people that you know touch touch a, you know, even a small component of the engine, but they all have that, you know, that sense of pride, that sense of, you know, wanting to do a great job and really deliver for the customer, uh, you know, that, that we all kind of carry with us as we do our day-to-day -day job. Um, and, and that really, you know, you know, being where I'm at, you know, seeing kind of a little bit more of the customer facing side here with, you know, with some of the market, uh, you know, feedback and, and information that we kind of take from the market and feed it back to our engineering teams to, uh, to do those design uh, changes and validation work. It's, it's very, you know, very evident to me that, you know, when we, you know, we put these products out to market, there's you know, all the way from the top down, there's so much focus on, on for these guys on making sure they deliver a great product and, and really, you know, uh, make the customer's life easier, make their job, you know, and, and time to enjoy the boats, you know, that much less worry-free knowing that the engines they've got on board are, are going to deliver for them. So, um, yeah, I'd say it's 
certainly very rewarding from that standpoint. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely a lot of a lot of work that goes into it. Yeah, and you're you're seeing something from you know from inception, from idea form all the way to in the water, and there's got to be that's got to take you know that's got to be so it invokes so much pride and 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 uh, you know just to see it happening is you know bringing your baby up from from design to to actual product, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's it's good too that we. Uh, you know, as we now we're starting to get more into our, you know, getting ready for a product launch and, and getting into the marketing phase. You know, they, they, you know, we can start to see some of the, you know, the tangible benefits of that. You know, as you start to see some of the, you know, the, the marketing information show up in social media, and, and you know, we have, uh, you know, kind of a, a demonstration engine that we we've, we've made available to see, you know, from some from some of our dealers and key customers. So kind of seeing the actual engine, you know, physically there now, it, it yeah. kind of gives that people a, a good sense of. Know, accomplishment and feeling hey this is real and it's coming and it's and it's there so yeah absolutely yeah especially because there's the boat shows are canceled because of covid right. so it's good to go out and see this you can check this out at at one of your local dealers when it comes around on tour and so the c32 tour um going so we have more power so power density uh more more horsepower overall quieter you know uh, lower much lower uh um, noise so it's right. easier when you're drinking your martini or your beer and <laughs> hanging out with your boys <laughs> so Absolutely. it's a tremendous engine this is very exciting when is it when is it going to be available in the market yeah so the, the the 2000 horsepower version or the 2025 metric horsepower uh, so that that one was recently announced as available to order today yeah so that's you can order that now and right. then the, the first units will start shipping early next year in 2021 so that that one's right around the corner uh, and then for 2400 uh, brake horsepower, we'll be placing some early, um, we call them pilot units out in the field, um, you know, early next year as well, probably um, you know, toward the end of first quarter. And that one's going to be, you know, in terms of its ability to order, you know, officially it'll be available probably toward the end of next year. And then, you know, those, those first production units will ship early 2022. So that one's still a bit of uh, about a year away or so, but it's, uh, it's, it's coming right behind the, the 2000 horsepower. Nice, nice. So we got a, a visual here of the 2400. This is very exciting. So step us through yeah. this real quick as we play this video here. Here we go. That's my yacht, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> Yeah, so this is you know our, our 2400 horsepower version. Um, it's got a lot of the same core changes I talked about earlier. Yeah, more power, same package. So yeah, we're 25% power increase over our current 1925 horsepower today. The acceleration here we're talking about is enabled by a three turbo sequential system. Uh, so much better acceleration than we have on today's engine. And we talked about the lower noise uh, with the, the unit injection fuel system and the, and the split shot capability. Yeah, EPA 2.3 recreational, IMO 2, IMO 3 switchable emissions. Yeah, and going back to the validation here, 35,000 hours of testing on those core changes, you know, and that's not just marine, that's that's across all of our applications this engine will go into. Uh, so, yeah, that's, you know, certainly something that's very, uh, very important as we look at, you know, taking those changes and putting them into production now on the 2000 or 2025 horsepower rating. Uh, you know, what allows us to do that is all the validation and, and work we put into those core changes that apply to machine applications and electric power applications. And, you know, they all use the same core now. So, you know, we can leverage that work to, to bring this to market that much faster. Alan, congratulations, buddy, on, on all the work and the entire team for bringing this beautiful engine out to the market. We're excited about it. I'm sure the boat builders and the, and the, the boating community is going to be excited about it and make sure to go around to your CAD dealer to check that out when, when it does come, come around that engine. Thank you so much for being on my brother. I appreciate it. There you go. Great. Hey, thanks a lot. It's been a pleasure. Um, had a lot of fun. Thank you. Awesome. And this is the Cat Power Podcast. Catch each and every episode, like I said, on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or wherever you listen to it. And be sure to catch us on the next one. Make sure to subscribe and rate us. Thank you, guys. Let's catch you next time. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, please follow and rate us. And be sure to share it with a friend so that you can power up their life and their career.